In this short video, today we'll be discussing about how to resolve DWP approval email notification issue. Digital Workplace Console. Here, go to Catalog Console. We've logged in with Allen and try to search the services which you have created. Approval email, request now. Now the request is submitted, which is 12421 and voting for approval for a married man. And we'll see whether the request provider is receiving any email notification or not. Let's wait for a couple of seconds to see whether the user is receiving. Now we haven't received any email notification yet. Now let's check the user profile for Alan to check whether it has a valid email address. Looks like the email address is not valid. So let's change, let's save it. Secondly, we need to check whether the notification is enabled for the request of a user or not. If you look at under approvals, the email notification is not enabled. Because of that, the user has not received the email notification. Let's enable it. And these are the statuses on which the requester per user will receive an email notification for waiting for approval. And under the request, you can see the email notification is also not enabled. So you need to enable it and see these are the status chains is available when the status is changed for the request. The request for user will receive email notification for submitted, in progress, waiting for approval, rejected, completed, closed, cancelled, and failed. And if you are putting any comments on request, on that also the user will receive the notification. Now, if you enable the notification, and you will see by submitting a new request. Request now. Submit a request. Now, the request ID 12422, waiting for approval for Mary Mann, the manager of Allen. Now let's go to Outlook to see whether user is receiving an email or not. Let's wait for a couple of seconds to see. As soon as I enabled it for the old request is triggered the approval email. So our request ID is 12422 and you can see now approval email has been received for the requester for a user. And also the request submitted is also the customer received that the service request approval email issue has been ordered on this date. And let's go to the manager profile. Mary login credential. You can see for request ID 12422, Mary is received for approve or reject. And at the same thing, we need to check whether Mary has the valid email address. It's perfectly fine. And you can see the approval, the email notification is enabled. And now you can see for waiting for approval, Mary should receive when approval email. Now see, you can see the approver is received an approval email notification for approval needed for approval email issue. This is for 12422. This is a request ID. And you can see the approver also received an approval email notification. Now let's approve the request. Now Mary has approved the request and if the request has been created successfully, then the request producer will receive a notification for request in progress status. As soon as the request will move to in progress and also will receive a submitted request uh, status change once the request has been work order has been created or if the request is failed then the request of user will also receive an email notification for failed status now one two four double two is failed so for this status the request for user will also receive an email notification as request is failed now you can see a new email has been received by the requester for a user for status fault. 
So these are the settings we need to check while resolving any approval email issues. And apart from that, if all this configuration are in place, but still the user is not able to receive a notification, then we need to check the email configuration is in place or not. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel 